All right, so I want to talk about paint and bead boxes. These are uh, an older one that I've had. I've already just put some white paint on it. Um, I, I get the stuff at uh, um, Home Depot. It's $14, $15 a gallon. You want something with the low VOC, which has to do with the smell. Um, one thing, don't paint your bead boxes and put bees in them. Let this stuff sit. So I go to Home Depot. These little whoops containers are 50 cents. You can see my brush has got purple and stuff like that. I painted several different brushes. The easiest is these 99 cent ones from Harbor Freight. Just slap it on. And it's nice when you have like a primer coat, but you want to make sure you get it all in the in the grooves. Fill everything up. If you let it hang over a table like this, if it runs, r remember this is not Rembrandt. This is not Colonial Williamsburg. This is a bee box. Some people leave them all white. Some people paint decorations on it. You're lucky if I can get one coat without messing it up. So paint your bee boxes. Make them look pretty. They're cheap. Cost you 50 cents plus a 99 cent brush. Plus it gives you something to do when you can't inspect your bees. So I was painting this bee box and you know typically they have handles on the outside here so when you pick it up it's got wet paint there it's easy to do that now sometimes you can put the handles on the inside now it's kind of hard to do that because you got to take all the bees out here but that means on the outside you don't have any handles so when you're building your bee boxes make sure you get the handles on the outside because once you get together you go Whoops, Houston, we have a little problem.